Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is June 18, 2015. What you're going to see here is that the futures are trading a little bit higher. They're up about 6.5 points to 2104 per contract. And this is still the M contract. Traders can switch over to the U contract now. I'll use the M contract for one more day. Tomorrow, I will switch over to the September contract, which is the letter U. Right now, we are using the M contract. But either way, futures are trading higher, and uh, we'll see if that can last throughout the day. Markets have been very, very volatile this week. Uh, also, it is an options expiration, a quadruple witching on Friday. So we will get a lot of gyrations, a lot of choppiness, a lot of movements in individual names. So just be prepared for that. We did have some economic news out a little while ago. Uh, it looks like there was some CPI news. Also, I believe weekly jobless claims. You could check it out for yourself. We really don't care about it. We only care about what the charts are telling us. And right now, futures are trading higher by about six and a quarter points. All right, let's take a look at some stocks in the news today. We're going to start with the big one here. It's Oracle. Oracle is um, trading sharply lower, closed at 44.91. They reported earnings last night. You can see the big, big sell-off. Right now, the stock is trading at 42.21. We will have gap levels for this stock today. So we will be looking to play Oracle right after the opening bell. Come on over to the intraday stock chat room. If you haven't already, take a seven-day free trial. Get the trade right alongside of us. But Oracle will be in play this morning right initially at the opening bell. So again, we have gap levels for Oracle. Uh, they will be posted up at 9 o'clock in the intraday stock chat room. If you want to come over and get those gap levels, just come and take a seven-day free trial. Or if you're a chat, remember, chat room member already, they'll be posted right at 9 o'clock for you. Uh, let's take a look at our next equity here on the charts. It's going to be Jabel Networks. JBL is the ticker symbol. Now, this stock is selling off sharply as well. Stock closed at $24.33, now trading at around $22.50. I'm going to try to have some gap levels for this. They'll be posted up at 9 o'clock as well. So, Jable Circuit will be posted up right at 9 a.m. This stock is gapping down nicely. So, this is two gap plays we will have in motion right as soon as the opening bell rings at 9.30. Let's take a look at Pier 1 Imports. The stock's catching a decent little bid. Stock closed at 12.01. It's now trading at 12.65. It did briefly go to around 13.10. I'm still seeing a ton of resistance here around 13 uh, and a quarter. So either way, I really don't see the stock getting much past there. Also, if you look at the daily chart, you're going to see the 200-day moving average is sitting right here at 13.60. So um, there should be limited upside in Pier 1 imports. But uh, the stock did catch a little bit of a bid today, so we'll see how it plays out. Now, just real quick, in sympathy to the decline in Oracle, you want to take a look at SAP, which is um, another company right in the same sector. Uh, that stock closed at 72.89. Right now, it's trading at 72.45. I don't see a lot of downside, but we will be watching this stock once the opening bell rings for a potential play. So SAP will be in play today in sympathy to Oracle. So keep that on the radar. Normally, um, if one company is down big, another company in the industry group that's large will go down in sympathy with it. And that could be the case today for SAP, but we will have levels uh, once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at BHP Billiton. This is catching a bid today. All the metals and mining stocks seem to be pretty strong. Um, that really comes on the back of a weaker U.S. dollar. So if you take a look at BHP today, BHP uh, ticking up, trading at 44.40. Stock closed at 43.58. Um, it's going to be tough to get through 45 and a quarter, but that's going to be the big resistance level to get through today. Rio Tinto is another one in the metals and mining space. You can see the stock's trading at 44.01. So that's a good little pop there for Rio Tinto. The stock, I believe, closed at 43.27 yesterday. So you're getting upticks there. Um, looks like gold mining stocks are also up today. I think Gold Corp is one. You can see nice little pop there. So everything in the metals and mining space should be um, decently higher. We will have Fitbit IPO today. So this stock will open for trading. FIT is the ticker symbol. I'm not sure what time they're going to open it, but keep that on your radar today. Fitbit will be opening. Uh, we'll, we'll have their initial public offering and will be trading today in the public market. Let's take a look at Biomarin. BMRN is the ticker symbol here. This stock came out with some um, some data on one of their drugs. Stock is trading sharply higher. Um, again, this is kind of, 
you know, in no man's land, I believe it's a new all-time high. So I'm not really sure where this is going to head to. But uh, either way, nice little pop here for Biomarin. Let's keep that on the radar today. Again, they did come out with some uh, drug data uh, for one of their one of their drugs and um, receiving a nice little move this morning by the institutional money. All right, let's take a look here at the gold market. Gold is up $24 today. That's about a 2% increase to $1,200.70 an ounce. Let's take a look at the GLD. Nice little pop here for the GLD trading around 115.15. Closed at 113.85 yesterday. So gold is on the move today. That is a very, very nice move for gold. Gold mining stocks we talked about are already moving up. So good little pop there as well. Now, real quick, if we take a look at the oil market, you're going to see oil is trading up 52 cents to $60.85 a barrel. Let's go to the USO, and you'll see the USO is reflecting a little uptick at 2037, closed at 2021 yesterday. So again, oil's up a little bit, not as much as I would think, but again, the dollar is down, and you can see the dollar on my left side of the screen here. If you just, there we go. So dollar down, market down is up and dollar down you're also seeing gold really take off to the upside today so nice pop in gold i think i covered everything that i wanted to get through um we're going to have some more stocks out here in in the market as soon as the opening bell rings that we can play as well so again come over take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat you'll see everything that we're doing there with that being said everybody have a great trading day and we'll, we'll see you on the charts